Tardigrades are a member of the phylum Tardigrada, which is characterized by having a five-segmented body with eight clawed limbs. This particular species of tardigrade is a member of the class Eutardigrada, which is characterized by having non-sprawling limbs. It is also a member of the order Paracella, which is characterized by having only two claws per leg and lacking in cephalitic pipillae. It is also a member of the family Hypsibidae and of the genus Hypsibius. Tardigrades were discovered by Joan Augusta Sefrain-Goes in 1773 and named in 1776 by Italian biologist Lazzaro Spallanzani. Tardigrades can be found in both fresh and saltwater environments, including small deposits of fresh water such as dewdrops on mosses, leaves, and soils. You will notice the tardigrade using its pharyngeal bulb to penetrate the algae in order to suck up its juices. In this image, you can clearly see that the tardigrade is no longer moving, and the early stages of cryptobiosis are beginning to occur. When desiccated, tardigrades enter what is known as the tun state through a process known as cryptobiosis. To enter the tun state, tardigrades retract their limbs and form into a ball shape reduce their metabolism by 99.99% and convert glucose to trihalose as water exits their cells. Tardigrades possess this great ability to enter the tun state as a result of their habitat, for their habitat often dries up, rendering it inhospitable to most organisms. Whilst in the tun state, Tardigrades can survive extremes in salinity, extremes in pressure, extremes in temperature, extremes in pH, high doses of radiation, as well as anoxia. Although tardigrades can survive these extremes, they are not considered extremophiles as they do not thrive in these conditions. Furthermore, whilst in the tun state, tardigrades have been known to survive over a hundred years. You can now see that an air bubble has passed over the hind limbs of the tardigrade, and those limbs have now retracted. You can now see that the air bubble has passed over the second most hind limbs, and those limbs have also retracted. This image clearly demonstrates that the tardigrade has almost completed shriveling and the texture of its body has also been dramatically altered. This is a dedication that has almost completed its transition to the tun state. It should be noted that although the tun state has been initiated, there is still movement inside the tardigrade. The tardigrade has now begun to shrivel up, with only one leg remaining. This is an indication that it's almost completed its transition to tun state. Throughout this clip, you will see the completion of the tun state as the tardigrade begins to shrivel up towards its head until very little can be seen. You can now see that the air bubble has passed all the way around the tardigrade and all of its limbs have started retracting. 